I got interested in um, female genital mutilation because I was in Kenya as a volunteer this past summer, living in a family, a Maasai family. But this particular ritual, which is cutting of female genitals, which could be cutting the clitoris, or it could be excision, which is cutting the inner lips, or the third stage, is, which is basically scooping out the entire vagina, uh, the vulva area of the outer lips and the internal lips, and actually stitching a very tiny little hole, only big enough to pee through, and of course bleed through. And that hole is then opened on the night of the marriage. I came here to the United States to do a cultural exchange program and I do that for, this is my sixth year and this time I decided to stay back because of my daughter. I don't want her to be cut. She's now 12 years old and at the age of 13 she will get a cut. So I decided to stay here and bring her here so that she can be safe because I don't want her to be cut. And just so you know, everybody knows what you're talking about. When you're talking about cut, what does that mean? Female genital mutilation. Uh, young girls actually look forward to the time that they would be cut because it meant a passage into womanhood. But a lot of the women, a lot of the girls didn't have any idea really what that meant. It's usually when the, there was a the school semester had ended that the, the young girls, usually from the age of 13 to 15, would be cut. And you could tell the difference when they came back. So the teachers observed that the, women, that the girls were very different after they had the cut. It's not a thing that the Maasai people, the men and women, discuss openly. And I don't know if they're going to tell you the entire truth. Anyhow. I want people to know that this can stop. This doesn't have to continue anymore. This can stop. This year, this can stop. Even if it's stopped just by supporting Jane and her family and the ripple effect that that will have in the village and eventually in the country.